All right, welcome back to paradise. I let the game roll forward two and one half hours, which is how long it took to finish the monastery. So let's cover what finished here. First off, we have dorms number one finished. We have dorms number two back there, which is new finished. We have a kitchen. That's right, there is actually a kitchen. I just missed the part. It has to be attached to an existing part, so it's attached right there. And uh, even though there's no cook, it's already smoking. And then uh, we had uh, we had lots of stuff finished. Let's turn on the user interface. We have 5,000 bucks. We're over the treasury limit because I was running military missions. If we look at the budget, believe it or not, let's see if this... Believe it or not, it says I've been profitable for two months in a row. I don't quite believe it yet because I was running a lot of military missions. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, we can we can get a lot of uh, a lot of monks in. More monks, I should say. More monks into the village and... Get this thing going and see if we can make some of that monastic, fantastic food. We also have the windmills, uh, you know, because the monastery is the slowest thing to build. We have new windmills, right? And uh, we can turn corn into flour and flour into bread and bread into money. Gold, I suppose. But that's going to be what we're doing this game. I, I don't usually let Foundation run between episodes, but this monastery, I tell you. You know what I'm saying, right? Let, let's just stop the ranting and get right into the game. So let's check this out. And we've got 11 unemployed, and that's where it stopped. Immigration's still on, but uh, nobody else came in because they were upset about who knows what. And I was able to keep up with the promotions. And actually, let me let me look at the military real quick. The army, the soldiers. We do have some... Uh, the current status, everybody's available. We do have some wounded, but not a lot. And we have a military mission... That's difficult. I'll prepare my troops right away. And then, oh, novice. Uh, novice, please, can be promoted. But I didn't want to do anything to the villagers <laughs> while nobody was watching. Yeah, that works. Send the troops. Make me some money. Okay, how many uh, villagers can we concede here? Let's see. Concede a villager to the monastery. That's zero. That's zero. Really? I guess because I promoted him. What's to say? Once conceded, a villager will live and work solely for that monastery. I shouldn't have promoted. Okay, well, you know, the monastery is all about block and progress, right? <laughs> we'll let more villagers come in. Let's let's get some uh, let's get some employed in here. Now, we're gonna run out of residential zones when I employ people at the mills. Oh, the bridge is. I forgot all about the bridge. I forgot all about it, and it works. Oh, I'm so happy. I forgot all about this thing, and it's definitely working. And your trail is almost exactly like I wanted your trail to be. Is this the same game? That's incredible. Anyway, let's... Uh, I wanted to put another field here, another cornfield, but we're going to need a residential area. Where do I own... I think I just want to extend this residential area out a little bit, right? Let's extend this one out a little bit. Yeah, that should give enough room for more houses. Okay. So, what do we got here? This this mill is going to do... It's going to grind corn. And the two millers are going to be uh, Charmion and Phil. Phil the mill worker. What's your actual title? Miller. Phil the miller. Miller Phil. And then uh, this one's also going to grind corn. And the millers are going to be Hayes and Vernelli. Vernell? Vernelli. Okay. Now, we are storing corn fairly close, right? And there go the soldiers. We're storing corn fairly close. Yep. Now, uh, we've got 100 corn here. I don't really want to store any more corn. Check out the vegetables, uh, which is scrolled off the list now. 3,292 vegetables. That makes me so happy. All right, we've got a monthly report. Uh, let's check it out. Again, we're still making money. Again, I'm not sure I believe it. But maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe everything's working. Promotion is now available. I, uh, like I said, I promoted all the newcomers to serfs, which is why we don't, we can't get any monks. However, if we go down to the bottom of the list, promote to prior, maybe, maybe now, maybe later. 
And uh, let's go ahead and uh, promote, please, to soldier. We've got another soldier. Okay. And then I wanted to promote all these people to citizen to make more money. But you know what? If we're making money, I don't need to do that yet. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. And we're going to see how it goes. I really think uh, the bread, the bread numbers, if we can get the bread numbers up. And how are we doing for bread? I'm a little worried about wood. 424, not really worried. I'm going to go up to speed too. Looking for the bread. 385 bread, that's not bad. But I'd like to sell more. Okay, you're going to turn corn into flour. I'm storing flour. Sorry, I just looked at this and I forgot. We are storing flour here and we don't have any. So turning corn into flour will be helpful to improve the bread production. Now, clothing production was another issue. I'm back to this. We only have 41 clothes. We're not... That should be a good... Uh, you know what? We were making multiple goods. I forgot about that. I kept thinking of it as clothing and everything else. We now have multiple types of goods. So maybe I won't put in any more clothing. Right? What are our goods? I'm going back to this. How many times am I going to open this up? Common wares is 115. That counts as a good. And don't candles count as a good as well? You see candles? We don't have any candles. Okay. And remind me. Let's go over to our candle workshop. Whoa. Thank you, Autosave. All right. Let's go over to our candle workshop, which is right here. Produces one candle in exchange for beeswax and wool. Right. And how much wool do we have? We have zero wool. And the only way I'm making, I'm making wool. Why don't we stick to the theme? All right. Why don't we stick to the theme of only making wool via plants? Wooly wooly. I need another flax. I keep calling it flax. I need another flax field. We could do it right here. I was going to put corn here, but why don't we put flax in here for more for more wool? So let's see. Is it uh, flax? It is. Flax farm. Right? And we'll put you right here. And I haven't built one of these in a while. And your entrance is right here. I think that's fine. Do I need anything else? A redding pond. Produces five redded flax in exchange for five dried flax. You, know, you can go right here. And I don't want you to touch the field, really, which is why... And then this produces five redded flax in exchange for five dried flax. And this produces five flax in exchange for five redded flax. And if, if I put your entrance right there and I scoot you over a little bit right here, everything should be fine. Do you require water? Well, no, I don't think so. Okay, build. Good. All right. And then we'll put the field here and this will create more wool. Uh, I'm going to need weavers. We're going to need a few more weavers. I need to delete you guys. You're you're not working out there. Okay. And uh, I'll put a new woodcutter right next to where that was. There we go. We'll put you uh, we'll put you right in here. And there we go. Built. Okay. Get that built and then we're going to need uh, I wanted to put a weaver hut here. Now I'm wondering why I wanted to make cloth. How are we making wool? Let me let me review. You're turning flax into cloth. How did we ever make any candles? Perhaps a better question is, have we ever made any candles? Okay, I'm okay with this because we can make more clothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put another weaver in. All right, I put one in. I took one out. I'm putting one in again. Uh, yeah, you can go. You can go right here. That's fine. You can go right along this road. All right, you'll make more cloth, and that can make us potentially more clothing. But 
I'm more concerned about the wool and the fact that I don't know that we've ever made any wool. Now, where do I own? How about... How about we put our first sheep farm right on this hill? You know? I mean, the sheep can go over the line. But, yeah, why don't we put our first sheep farm over here? Because I'm not sure... I mean, I'm probably being dumb. But for the life of me, I can't remember if we ever made any wool. Uh, sheep farm. Hay meadow. Oh, sheep farm chain. Sheep fold. <laughs> um, um, okay. Sheep fold. Produces sheep. Sheep yard. Produces one sheep and one dung in exchange for one water and one hay. Hay meadow. Everything's more complicated. Sheep slaughtering. No, no, no. Sheep milking. Sheep shearing. Okay. All right, so uh, this is bigger than I remember. It's okay. We can take out some pines. There, that looks okay. And then we're going to have a sheep shearing pin. And let's put you up at the top. Yep. You get a nice view while you get sheared. And then the dung heap uh, is going to go right next to this. I do have enough money to buy more land, but I'd rather not buy more land till I absolutely have to. Alright, there's the there's the dung heap. And then uh, sheep shearing, dung heap. Sheep fold. Produces sheep. Produces three wool in exchange for one sheep. And hay meadow. Produces hay. Do sheep need hay? Oh, produces one sheep and one dung in exchange for one water and one hay. That's the sheep yard. The sheep fold just produces sheep. Option two, pasture. Option one, hay. We're going option two. We're not going option one. Okay, good. Soldiers are victorious. Was I think that was just difficult, so no blueprint. Oh, that reminds me. I thought... Nope. I thought I ran a very difficult mission, but I might be out of blueprint. All right, so we're doing the pasture. And the pasture's just going to be all around here. I think that's going to work out. I think I got everything. The sheep fold produces the sheep. And the sheep shearing pen produces wool. And so let's go ahead and build it. And then we'll see what happens. I, I don't think I've ever made wool. I don't know. How did we ever get candles? Perhaps we never got candles. Something must, must have changed. I don't know. Let me know how crazy I'm being. As you usually do. Okay, we still have 10 unemployed. So let's go right to the list of... Not that one. Let's go right to the list of workers. And the flax farm shed is up. And the gathering huts are here. The iron quarry. Let's, let's just start assigning miners. This is which iron quarry? This one over here? Yeah, let's remine this thing. Uh, miners assigned. It's going to be uh, Crystal. Did we have anybody come in? Oh, you're a newcomer. Okay, hold on. Well, Crystal, you wouldn't be a monk anyway. Let me assign first. Can I target your way over there? Yeah, look at that money. Uh, let's see. Concede a villager to the monastery. Nope. Not working. Okay, it's okay. Well... So, let's see. What do we got here? I was doing the uh, iron quarry. That's uh, Crystal and Valentin. And, uh, okay, we're still at plus zero villagers, so nobody knew who's coming in. And then the scriptatorium, I can't assign anybody. The stone quarry, let's go ahead and assign Lay and Maola because we need to get more villagers in here. And the second stone quarry, remind me where this is. I think this is over here. Yeah, I think this is the only stone quarry we have, right? And this is going to be um, Maisie and Aubrey. All right, what else do we have here? Crushing and combining yard. Well, this is apparently done. This whole thing's done. All right, okay. Do I have to assign a field? Paint the field. 
No problem. Let's paint the field. You are going to surround the this area. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Unpaint the field. Here we go. Uh, flax worker was assigned is going to be a zelly. That's the crushing and combining yard. This is the flax farm shed. It's going to be Giuseppe. Giuseppe and Newt. And we're out of new villagers. That's a shame. The Redding Pond. Yeah, crops. Crushing and combining. Flax farm shed. Redding Pond. Yep. Okay, now we need... We have zero unemployed now, so we should get some more. Uh, promotion is available. Promote to surf. Uh, apparently, we did have... Two new ones come in. Well, pay... Let's promote all the newcomers to surfs. And then if we go down here... Uh, nothing new. Except for this priors and the citizens. Alright. We're still... We're still in the money. So we're gonna stay in the money. By the way, how are the bread numbers doing? 259 bread. Where am I selling bread? I'm gonna turn it on. We're tracking bread today. It's all about the bread. Okay. You all are making bread. You're storing bread. You're selling bread. You're storing bread. You're selling bread. You're storing bread, but we're not selling bread over here. We're selling vegetables. What are you selling? You're selling fish. Yep. And you're selling meat. I mean, it's not that big of a town, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure we're selling bread. Look at that. You're taking the shortcut over here, aren't you? Nice. I want to make sure we're selling bread in all the crowded areas. So you know what that means. I think we could use a bread market over here, right? Where's a where's a busy path? I'm gonna say uh, the ideal place to sell over here is gonna be right off the beaten path. So why don't we put a bread market right next right at the end of the bridge? One market stall coming up. It's gonna be a food stall, and yes, yeah, since we have the money. Uh, we're not going to worry that we're putting you over the berries. We're going to go ahead and put in the red tent. And go ahead and build that. We'll sell some bread there. Alright, look at all the bridges. I'm so happy this bridge works. Even though right now nobody's taking it. That's alright. Oh, I said I was going to tear down this market, right? Yes. One of two market tenders assigned, right. Assign resources. I could sell bread over here. Am I selling bread anywhere over here? It's not lighting up. Yeah, right here. It's not lighting up. It's right there. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna continue to sell vegetables over here. And we're gonna lose some veggies because uh, Eleanor I'm just going to delete the one that sold 30 this week, yeah. Delete. And then Eleanor, you should jump over here, I hope. And then fill this with vegetables. And everything should be fine. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put a tent in. There we go. And you'll sell veggies. Eleanor, are you over here yet? Not yet. I'll have to check on that. I'll have to check on that as time goes on. Right, and we can store bread here. Bread's making its way across the bridge. Good. And do we have any flour in here yet? Cornbread, flour. We have one flour. It's okay. If we're turning it right into bread, that's awesome. Three new villagers. Alright, you know what that means. We're coming over here. It's monk time. How many we get? One. Man, I'm being trolled. Show me the new villagers. Um. Uh, not the jobs. Unemployed. It's uh, Pasqui Pasqualina. Shelton. And Marsh. Two dudes. You're both newcomers. Okay. Uh, okay, first off, I'm... You, you, you probably were yelling at me. I'm very, very sorry that I forgot to do this. 
Um, I forgot to assign. We have the scriptatorium and stuff, but for the new extensions, I never assigned them to dorms. That's this one, right? You're a dorm. And this one. You're a... That's... Which one's this? This should be this one right here, right? Yep, you're a dorm. Now we can assign. Okay. And in the kitchen... Oh. There's a decision to be made here. Milk, honey, and bread. That seems good. Milk, honey, and apples. Not so good. Milk, milk, eggs, and bread. No. Mushroom. No. Mushrooms. No. Vegetables, fish, and herbs. No. Milk, honey, and bread is it. Alright. Produces five monastic meals in exchange for one milk, one honey, one bread. Okay. And you don't care where you get it, which is interesting. However, we have this place over here. And I think I need to assign you something, too. I, why did I just not stay here? I don't know. To spawn livestock, to remove livestock. Sheep farmer. You were going to make the wool. Uh, but we need wool because for the vellum. Uh, okay, to spawn livestock. Do we see any? I hear him. I spawned a bunch. Do we see any? I do. I see him. Check him out. There they are. Scooch out of the way. Sheep. All right. And boy, they grow in wool fast. Okay, but now we have to assign monks. Finally. Now, okay, can see the village 19, 20. That's two scribes. And that's all we can do. Then we'll have a steward. That's for the, the dining hall. Then we'll have two cooks. And one water sold, right? And then where do the... What's the steward of? I'm not sure. What, I think the steward is for the sheep. I'm not sure. We'll see how that works. But anyway, stuff is happening. And bread is is now able to be brought into the kitchen. But they also need water, which they have. Is that water for farms, though? I'm not sure. Three more villagers. Well, well, well. Uh, let's see. What can, what can we do? Nothing yet. It's all right. Maybe they're not here yet. You know how sometimes there's that delay. Click, click, click. Maybe if I click enough, they'll come in. All right, no, fine. I just want to make sure, unemployed, female, 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 female. Well, okay. We've heard we've got monk openings and nobody wants to come into the village. All right, well, where do we have some jobs? We have some jobs here at the old uh, flax farm. And uh, flax worker assigned. It's going to be Eleonora and... At the other flax farm, Pasqualina. Pasqualina flax. And that's it. I think that's it, right? That is it. Yes, good. Okay. Everybody should be flaxing in here. And then here, of course, the weaver hut. You're going to turn linen cloth. You're going to turn flax into cloth. And the weavers are going to be Mardell and Rovina. All right. I'm not really sure I needed a weaver's hut. You're going to be making cloth, but I'm not going to be making any clothes. Uh, I could put... What do I own over here? All right. Do I want to buy this? Look how much money we have. Is this the one I want to buy, though? Yeah. It is. Because I'm going to put some tailors over here. Not right across from the, from the mill, though, but let's put some tailors. There we go. Let's put uh, two tailors in. We're probably going to want to store cloth somewhere. But you're going to go right next to the bridge. Tailors always have the best view of the town. Yeah, we don't want to put you too close to the bridge. It's going to be one. Build shift didn't work out for me. You're, surely you're not going to get in, in the way of the mill, I don't think. Okay. 
All right, good. That'll make us some more clothing. Uh, wool, though, is interesting. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need some farmers. We do have uh, our sheep up in the pen here. Are they animated? They are. They are animated. And uh, we have our regular old uh, sheep farm with the dung collector. I want to spawn some sheep. Paint the field. All right, the sheep field is going to be right over here, I think. And uh, I mean, yeah, if, if sheep go on the hillside, you know, I know goats are more like on the hillside, but it's big enough. All right, paint the field. How many unemployed do we have? We have zero unemployed. And I guess I don't spawn sheep anymore. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to play the vanilla game again after this to see if everything's the same or whether they change stuff, and I just don't know. Uh, okay, first off, can I target the monastery from here if I could find it? Way over in the right corner pocket. There's one. There's two. There's three. Look at the scholars. There's three scholars, or two scholars and a scribe, I think. But we're not, we don't have anybody in the, in the pen, do we? Who's, who's doing the sheep? Sheep farmer's not assigned. Okay. It's interesting, I don't think that shows up on the first one. Head cook, hauler, scholar, scribe. It's not showing up on the first list. We have one unemployed left. Um, that's not a lot, but uh, why don't we put in livestock worker, dung collector, livestock herder, sheep field. Let's put in a livestock herder. It's going to be Bonita, livestock herder. Maybe that'll get some sheep to spawn because I'm kind of bummed. I, I don't know how to spawn sheep. Maybe they'll just pop in like the goats did. That might be what happens. Okay, and we can make some more wool there. And uh, if we look at, uh, all right, I'm happy with the bread moving around. So let's turn off the uh, let's turn off the bread watch. Only 197 bread, but the cash is fine. Why am I looking over here? That's a very nice part of town, but I never look at that. I want to know if you have gotten any wool in yet. Not yet. How did you ever make candles? Do I, do I have a sheep farm here I'm just forgetting about? I don't think so. I had hay. I had hay here for this. But then this is just a regular field. Pigs. Nope, no sheep farm. Apples. Uh, beer stuff. Hops, thank you. Yeah, no sheep farm. Hmm. I'm going to look at the budget just to make sure we're still making money. We are. It's crazy. All right. Uh, promotions available. Uh, we have this many newcomers. 100 bucks to promote to surf. All right. And then I'm tempted to promote to citizen. I'm not promoting to prior yet. I know it's free. I don't want to do it. Why don't I want to do it? What a pri pri priors will have new needs. Monastic food and monastic worship. Yeah, I'm not going to promote yet. Because I thought they already had those needs. Did I put in a place of worship or do I have to go in... Do I have to do another two-year build here? Yeah, unfortunately, this is dorms. So I have no place for the monks to worship. Oh, no. That's going to take another... Okay, that's okay. It's going to be a small place of worship. That's <laughs> it. That's right, folks. The monastery is still under construction. I want something small. Right? Something... Alright, this is not the smallest, but this should work as a place of worship. Alright, so there's the door. This is this building. This is the place of worship. We're kind of crammed in there. It's alright. That's going to take another year to build. And you're going to need what? You're going to need some glass. I think we can make glass. Street performers up. They are. The tents are up. All right. Let's put in our first street performers. 
Whoever this this sucker is is a fortune. No, a juggler. Ah, we have more unemployed. All right, hold on. Thelma. Thelma, you're a juggler. Okay, and and then uh, the fortune teller is gonna be uh, Namaya. No, you're gonna be a monk. Trust me. It's gonna be Emily. You're gonna be the fortune teller. All right, there you go, fortune teller. Oh my goodness, she she's arrived. Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. I really do like your hat. It's the best hat in the game, really. Best outfit in the game. Street performer. Not that kind of performer, pal. All right. I don't I don't know if that joke stays in there or not. Uh so what else do we have? No access to goods. Okay, no, we had we had some dudes. We had some dudes. And uh, let's see, what do we have here? You can see the villager, that's 25. Good. Now we need cooks. 26. 26 is it. We where did that where did the where did where did that one go? Oh, they go to the sheep? Yes. Sheep farmer has been assigned. Good deal. We're down money. We're down money. We have one unemployed. I'm gonna stare at the budget again. Yeah, look at this. Suddenly we're losing money. Okay, and guess what I haven't done? I haven't sent anybody out. Military mission available. Extremely difficult. I will prepare my troops right away. So I believe I had run so many missions that it just looked like we were making a profit. All right, it's going to be uh, Canuto and Dale. Fritz is staying behind. And uh, it's going to be the A-team. Extremely difficult mission. Send the troops out. Okay. Taylor's workshop has been built. Let's put a tailor in here. And uh, you're going to be Marth the tailor. Okay. Now, do we have any sheep over here? I see sheep. I see moving sheep. Okay, the sheep are here. And how much wool do we have? Can I find wool quickly? The answer is no. I can never find... Yeah, I can. Wool, zero. Because I don't have anybody shearing the sheep. Well, we just had two more people come in. Alright. We want a livestock worker. Alina? It was a safe guess. Alina, I think you're going to shear the sheep. And then the dung collector? Dolores. <laughs> it's Dolores, the dung collector. There you go. Everybody loves Dolores. Now, uh, that's it for the unemployed. And yes, we're not making money. I think, I think next promotion time I'm going to make some citizens. You know? I think we need some citizens. We definitely have a lot of honey, right? 951, uh, 48 now, honey. We have plenty of honey, which can be sold for luxuries. And I'm selling... All right, let's track it. That's what the tracker's good for. I'm selling honey here for the highfalutin that live in this general area. I'm selling honey here and storing it here for this highfalutin area. We are storing honey here, um, and we're trading honey here, okay. But really, I think we should be selling, I think we should be selling honey over here as well. Uh, is this really a highfalutin area though? Not really. I don't have a lot of highfalutin areas is the thing. Look at all the honey over there. Look at that. We can move some honey. There's an, another honey sales right there. And I keep... Yeah, there's no high flutin houses over here. Yep, no, I think we're good with the honey sales. Alright, let's turn it off. Let's turn the honey tracking off. No access to housing. Who are you? Yep, where do you live? Yep, it's being rebuilt. Okay. We could probably use more builders, but uh, I don't know. Look at it. Look at it built. That just must be expanding size. 
Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Is there unemployed? So now I'm waiting. We're going to need some service for the priors. Should have thought of that prior to starting the episode. Thank you. And no access to goods. Okay. Who are you? Yep. You need goods. You have one of two goods. Common clothes, pottery, candle, furni candle, candle furniture, common wear shoes. All right. Okay. Obviously, we have a candles problem. Never, never made candles, perhaps. Uh, I had common wares are being made over here. Right here. And uh, you've got 0, 050. You produce four common wares in exchange for an iron bar and some planks. We might have gotten really low on the iron. 22 iron bars. And can I find planks quickly? 350 planks. I feel like we need another common wares workshop. Promotion available. Uh, promote to surf. Hold on. Not the unemployed yet. We must do this carefully. Can I see the monastery? I can. 27 monks. One more head cook, right? Uh, really? Okay, fine. No, nope, that's fine. Close you. Promotion available. Pay to promote all. Good. And we're out of cash. How about that? How about that? So much for cash problems being solved. I need, I'm going to need to promote the citizen. But them not being able to buy goods is one of the problems. So, and I bought more property. Do you remember that? You remember me buying more property? Where did I buy that useless piece of property? Way over somewhere else. All right, where do I own property here? We do have, I do have room because I put this down here. Which is, that's kind of fourth wall breaking. But let's put another common wares workshop over here. Common wares. Right here. Yeah, let's build another one. This was most likely overproducing as well. And uh, you're going to go right here. Let's go ahead and get that built. And then we're going to need more iron for sure. I don't think we ran out of iron ore. Hey, look, we got a, a manuscript. Wow. Um, and we have eight entertainment. Wow. And three knowledge of plants. It's working, man. It's working. Uh, okay, I'm, this is vellum. We don't have any vellum. But we must have made... We must have used vellum to create a manuscript. We do have 39 wool. Where did candles go? We have 15 candles. Amazing. We only have 27 iron ore. Okay. So we did run out of iron. Uh, let me go back to the jobs list. Uh, you still... Uh, success probability is only high. Is that always true for that last step? Yeah, sure, charge. Um, we need uh, iron, more iron workers. And they're going to be miners, right? I think I reassigned all the, mine, the uh, iron mines. I think I did. Yeah, because this is quartz. And this is gold. Neither of which we really needed. Okay, we know where the tailor's workshop is. Uh, let's go ahead and assign another tailor. No villagers are available. I'm sorry. Okay. We're waiting for more. We have seven unemployed. Alright, hold on. It's time. Is this the last monk? This has got to be the last monk. One more cook. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Nobody. Who is unemployed? Where are all these unemployed villagers and why are they unemployed? What did I do? Did I break something? It says we have seven unemployed. Yeah. Orby? Oh, seriously. I mean, obviously. Obviously. 
all the women want to come into the village, you know, because because Lord Fred. Lord Fred's a happening dude. But come on. <laughs> you can't be serious. Okay, well, we can't we don't have any monks. They're in the village now. Uh where's the second bridge? Third bridge. Where's the fourth bridge? Good grief, I've been spinning around in a circle, lost again. Alright, we should have somebody to make another tailor now. It's gonna be, uh, Alpha. Alright. And then, uh, what other jobs do we have? Uh, un no workers. I could assign the foragers if we run out. Oh, the food stall. Right, this is the new bread stall, and I wanted to check the other one, but this was gonna be for bread. Assign resource, you're gonna sell bread right on the main strip here. And it's gonna be early, early bread, early bread. And then we have the gold quarry, we have the head cook, which I can't assign, we have the quartz. Yeah, let's, I'm tired of looking at the quartz. It's gonna be uh, Isil quartz, Lamar quartz. And then uh, we still have six unemployed. It's gonna have to be foragers, I think. Ah, uh, gold. Denitia and hilarious it's laddie all right and then the cook I can't do anything about and then we're gonna have to do the foragers yeah it's gonna be foragers it's gonna be uh Jean I'm just checking all right I'm just checking uh, foragers it's gonna be Reese Jean Milla and down here it's going to be Orby. Alright, we've got foragers now. Good. Do I have enough area for you to move in? Not so much. Not so much. Why don't we... Why don't I put in an extra resident... Uh, we don't have a lot of room, do we? Well, maybe we can squeeze another house in here. What do you say? What do you say? Another house or two. That should be enough. Alright. No access to entertainment. Come on, I'm working on it. Taylor's workshop should be fine. Let's go back to the entertainment district. And do we have a fortune teller? We have a skull. Who's the fortune teller? Attendance, two of three, the public lounge. Street performers. Uh, did I not make a public lounge? Did I have to, did I have to assign parts? No, I don't think so. One sold this week for five. Yeah, I don't know. 88 happiness. I'm not going to worry about it. We have plenty of entertainment. The soldiers are coming back. I should send them out again. We're going to have a little bit of cash. There they are. 6,500 bucks. Did we get a blueprint with that? Let's look. A bailiff available for a mandate. No blueprint yet. Uh, we may be out of blueprints. Let's go ahead and send our soldiers out on another military mission. This is easy. Perfect. And we'll send... We got a lot of wounded here. Just a few soldiers on this. Alright, easy mission. Go ahead and send them out. Alright. We do have three unemployed. And boy, boy, wouldn't it be nice if we can concede the 28th monk. There we go. And this means we have... I, we may need another one once... Look, look how slow the building is. Yeah, good grief. Alright, we have 14 beekeepers, 2 scribes, 4 scholars, 4 vegetable farmers, 1 steward, 2 head cooks, 1 water. Now, for the head cooks, how many meals have we made? Can I see how many meals? Uh, monastic meals. We have 11 monastic meals. 7 sold this week for 0. They're free? They're free. Hmm. I'm not too happy about that. I should make money on any transaction. I did want to check on this market. Eleanor did move over as I moved the market. Good. Stone Bridge. Well, I tell you what. We're going to go one more episode because uh, we've got stuff being built. Common wares are being built. I want the monastery to finish again so we have service. I want to promote to Prior. Wanted to do that. <laughs> There's too many Prior jokes. Too many prior jokes. 
Not enough time. So we're up to 90 happiness, 712 villagers. Uh, we do have promotion available. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and promote to Prior right now because we have monastic food. We, oh, we don't have monastic worship. Okay, so I can't promote to Prior. However, I can now promote all the newcomers to serfs because we filled all the jobs in the monastery, at least all the ones I know about. So there's pay to promote. We have 4,361. I'm going to promote to Citizen. Oh, okay. I guess Citizen has to be a certain level. They have to have their needs filled, right? So we have more to promote to Citizen than I thought we would. 2,400 to promote all these to Citizen. Hang on to your hats. All right. Now, what this means... Oh, and you're victorious, but extreme. I'm going to keep them with you. But what this means is if we look at the Citizen population. We have zero newcomers now, 626 serfs, only three commoners, and 32 citizens that we need to keep happy. However, the citizens, their production is going to go way down, but if they can find everything they need, then we're going to make more money, which should help. The problem is going to be finding them what they need. They may have to travel all over the village to get what they need, because it's kind of a mess. Only one villager is coming in. Now, the common wares did get made, so let's go ahead and assign two more common wares, wearers, uh, Idelar and Reynold. Uh, we had two more villagers come in, so let's go ahead and uh, pay 20 to promote uh, Aline, Aline to uh, Surf. All right, good. And then you can make more common wares. Oh, I forgot about this tower. What does this tower do? Is the tower just part of the shop? I forgot about that. Did I, is it it's a non-work is it a non-functioning part? Additional parts. Oh, somehow I built it. It needs 50 science. Upfront cost 50 science. Somehow I was able to build that one. But now it needs 50 science. I bet it's always been an additional part. The mod now requires, has an extra requirement to it. How interesting. Okay. I don't have anybody doing science yet. I don't think I'm going to have I don't think I'm going to have monks doing science or whatever that, I'm, I'm assuming it's science. It's a red bottle. Uh, they're doing, they're doing food production. Not that we need any more food production. And then, uh, we still have four unemployed. Do any jobs left? The foragers, I guess. Uh, check it out. We got all the jobs are filled. Yep, all the jobs are filled. Uh, we have two more forester positions open. It's going to be Franz and Hildred. And then we have two unemployed. I'm going to slow it down to speed one. I did do some extra decoration here, by the way. All right, this is a good place to end up. I put the two little banners from the uh, medieval fair mod up here at the entrance to our monastery. Let's turn off the user interface. Uh, it's always under construction, right? It's under construction one more time to give us some service, then we can get some priors. And then I think, uh, you know, holidays have to come to an end. It's uh, time to take the boat off of paradise, but uh, we'll go one more episode. Does that make this the penultimate episode? I think, I think it does. All right, that's gonna be it for this time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.